Hey divers, Alec Pierce Scuba. Every diver knows what these things are. These are called boots. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Jerry. Not boots for your feet. These are for these are tank boots going to the bottom of the tank. Well, you know that. So anyway, I want to take one minute with tank boots to share a thought that that uh, I, maybe you just didn't know. That's all. Tank boots have been around forever, well, not forever, but they've been around since the 50s. Ever since tanks have been out, there have been different types of tank boots. And, and originally, the first tank boots were brought out for a very simple reason. The tanks were round bottom, so they wouldn't stand up. So tank boots were made with a, to go onto a round bottom, and they had a flat so you could stand the tanks up to take up less space, you can service them, work on the valve, but there are you know, all kinds of reasons why you want the tank to stand up rather than laying on the ground. So that is actually the main reason why tank boots were first developed. That's not the main reason why we, wear the, why we, wear them, why we use them today. The main reason we use them today is to protect the bottom of the tank, particularly aluminum tanks, which are very susceptible to, to dings and knocks and bangs and so on. So you want to have a tank boot mainly for protection. Now the fact is you can still stand the tank up. So it still has that, that feature, that benefit of like being able to stand the tanks up. Now I know some of you guys are saying, my aluminum tank has a flat bottom, I don't need a boot. Hey, no problem. If all you care about is standing it up, flat bottom aluminum tanks are fine. But if you dive anywhere where there's rocks or boats or steel edges or any place at all, then you should have a tank boot on your flat bottom aluminum tank. That's absolutely right. We get them all the time in here. And if it has a nasty ding on the bottom or, or, or a gouge on it, the tank is toast. We cannot pass it for visual examination if there is physical damage on the outside of the tank. Exactly. So you go and spend 10 bucks, get yourself a tank boot. Looks good, you know, and easier to stand it up. Put it down, saves the tank, and you can stand it up. Now, what do I want to talk about tank boots? Well, the very first tank boots were like this. They were made of rubber or plastic. And they, they went onto the tank boot. You, you pushed them onto the tank. The tank went down inside. You pushed them on, worked them on, and you got them on, and they were on the tank boot. And they were smooth rubber like this on the outside and the same on the inside, and they went onto the tank boot. Now, the difficulty with these, they found after a while. It took a little while. It took a while. But they found that... Often, water would get down between the rubber or plastic and, the, and, and the, the metal, and would get trapped in there. Salt water and some sand, it would get trapped in there. And so after, whether it was six months or a year, because they weren't quite as fastidious back then with their visual examinations. Today, if you take a tank in for a visual inspection, as you do every year, or for a hydro, they take the boot off. And as soon as they take the boot off, they can see if there's been any damage in there, and they can clean it. Back then, in the earlier days, 50s and 60s, they didn't do that. So the boot might be on there for three or four or five years. When it did finally get taken off, oh my God, the whole bottom two or three or four inches of the tank was all rusty. And it might fail visual. So that's what it was like back in the old days. That problem has been solved now because tank boots today are a little bit different. First of all, most tank boots today are rigid. Now they're still plastic. They still have some give to them, so, so they, they grip the tank firmly, but it's, it's much harder. It's not that thin, rubbery thing, but the real important part is on the inside. Can you zoom in there, Kevin? I look right here where my finger is. Maybe you hear that noise. You hear that noise, Kevin? That's because there's ridges in there. That's right, there are ridges all the way around the tank. Oh, yeah. Now, what are those ridges for? You may already have figured this out, or if you, you may know what I'm talking about. But those, those ridges simply ensure that water doesn't get trapped. Yeah, water still goes in between the tank and the tank, between the tank and the boot, between the tank and the boot, but the water runs right out. Exactly right. And then, particularly if after the dive, saltwater dive, you know, sandy beach saltwater dive, you guys in California, after the dive, you take a hose or a bucket of water and you rinse your tank off. Now fresh water runs down the tank through those grooves out the bottom. Takes out all the salt, all the sand, and your tank is perfectly safe. Small point to be sure, absolutely, but that's what I'm here for, for small things. Well, except for Kevin. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So now you know about old boots that were rubber or plastic and they were tight to the tank and they often destroyed the bottom of the tank, and new boots, which are still plastic, very, very tough, and they have grooves in them so they can't get, uh, 
they can't uh, uh, get water trapped in there and ruin your tank. Now, another small thing I just noticed as I'm talking, this is round. You see the edges are quite smooth and round. So you put, you put this tank and lay it down, it'll roll. Uh, most boots, not all, but most boots today are, uh, I don't know how many, I was gonna, I'm gonna say hexagonal. It, it could be octagonal, but anyway, it's got a bunch of sides on it. So you lay this down and it lays flat and doesn't roll. Another small feature of new tank boots. All good ideas, all good ideas. That's it, tank boots. Yes, you should have them. And just before you put it on, I'm sure they all are now, but before you put it on, take a look. Be sure those grooves are there. Oh, and don't forget the rinse. Alec Pierce, scuba, tech tip, see ya. <laughs>